Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Plucky Squire which is very different from any other game that I've played on this channel. I just had to give it a try. Uh, I saw this on Steam while I was browsing and I looked at the pictures, I looked at the review on the video. I just fell in love right away with the art style and I decided to give it a try. So today we will be doing exactly that. So uh, yes, it is different. We'll see how it goes and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what the story is about. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrum. Which everyone very much appreciated. Good lad! Well done! Racky. Jot was also a writer and would transcribe his many adventures in book form. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From the park, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter 1 Some Serious Beeswax Oh wow, so this is in the story of, in the form of a, of a storybook, which is crazy. It's very unique. Well, maybe not unique. Maybe there's some other games like this that I don't know of. But for me, this is, this is very uh, unique. This was the house of the good wizard, Moonbeard, Jod's close friend and mentor. Ah, Jot, my lad. He explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? Pip here will accompany you. This also looks very much like uh, The Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda with a mix of Paper Mario, probably. Yeah, very much. But you have to agree, like, the graphics, the, the art style, at least, it, they look very nice. B, B is to dash. So I'm on a PlayStation uh, controller, so B would be circle. Yeah, this is... Oh, wait. I didn't mean to go up there. What the heck? Alright, let's just go. Honey Peak. Is that the entire map? It looks like it.
Uh, there's no... No double jump. Now this is really quite precarious. I just realized I turned into a 2D platformer now. Yeah, I'm really enjoying. Oh, I can't. Uh, I can't jump immediately after I roll. Also, it, it, it's a one hit when uh, it's in 2D. Here, our first boss fight. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepared. Hey, for yo, dust up. Bro is ready to give him hands, bro. You want these hands? Where's the, the hook? I'm trying to dodge it. Oh. There we go. Yo, I was not expecting that. That was very cool. The beast was bested. Yeah. The plucky squire triumphant. They fell. Oof. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. was Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Let me know, have you ever played a game like this? 
Uh, is, where's the other? All right, never mind. I was looking for the other uh, word. There it is. Got a shop. There we go. Now we found some uses for these uh, light bulbs. Uh, art scroll, a collectible art scroll that can be found in the land of Mojo. Throw your sword to attack enemies or retrieve goodies from a distance. This seems important. So picking up those uh, light bulbs are important, actually. Chapter 2 Tome Tower Our heroes hung on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails, when suddenly they were grabbed and hoisted up. By who? By Thrash. Thrash was a mountain troll. And George and Violet's childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. And so were very happy to be reunited. Another. Oh, I wonder if I step. I doubt if I step on them. Uh, this is an amazing platformer. I'm telling you right now. if I can use uh because I know they have powers right I should be able to maybe further down use them or use their powers oh they I haven't even realized that the boulders are coming out of the storybook oh you know, it's little things like this that are amazing Alright, so I guess we gotta fight our way out of here. Wait, can I just get the key? 
Oh, and I have to pick it up. Like, lift it, actually. Here was a secluded. So we gotta find. Oh yeah, we gotta find other words. Pick this up. Make it ruin. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna have to go back and forth actually. Let's get these out of the way. Yeah, and the ground is actually giving us hints, if you can tell. Oh, that was a big ass throw. So now we drop it here. See, the ground is actually giving us the hints we need. Alright, and there you go. I did not notice that he was upside down. Alright, let's get out of here then. It's a shop. Let's see what they have. Look at these are... I don't even have enough for a second attack. Charge up and release a devastating spin attack. This is just like uh, Legend of Zelda. I'm guessing. So should we even... I'm going to get this. And save up for, you know, both of the other ones. Alright, let's do it. 